Hi guys and welcome back. Um, I'm glad you're here and I appreciate, I just have to state this, I appreciate all the feedback I'm getting on Facebook and uh, which is William Weeding was Mustang Medic. But uh, I'm grateful for all the response that I'm getting for, for these videos. Today we are going to talk about triggers. How I know it's like people my age, which is uh, 54 at the time, at the time of this video, um, Triggers is like, oh, you're getting triggered, you're getting triggered, and everybody's running around getting triggered about ev everything and everybody. So everybody's getting really paranoid about talking about anything. But triggers can drive you into a great deal of depression if you're not aware of them and you don't intervene on your own triggers. Yes, you can do it. Remember, the only thing you can control yourself is your thoughts. You can't control that person that's triggering you in college. You can't you know, control the trigger of that your boss, um, the wife, of course, and the husband too. Um, as we get to know people, we tend to know our triggers. And if you want to play that person and make them feel down and depressed, you'll use those triggers against them. I know, uh, from personal experience, let's just say that. Um, what is the definition of a trigger? A trigger is an external event that you are receiving and you're choosing to react to. And you can be triggered and not react. Like somebody could call me a name, give me the finger or whatever, and I'll just go, you know, I'm not reacting and like uh, uh, getting triggered as they, as they say nowadays. But the important thing about triggering is that you can control it. And there's a number of things, um, that let's just say frightening news events, uh, too much to do, feeling overwhelmed, family friction, the end of a relationship, spreading too much time, well, spending too much time alone, isolation, reason for this channel, uh, being judged, financial problems, physical illness, sexual harassment, being yelled at, aggressive sounding noises, being around someone who has treated you badly. That's codependency. We'll do another video on that. Um, certain smells, tastes, and noises can trigger you. So basically you can get triggered by everything. And they talk about safe spaces from triggering, and there's no such thing. You can get triggered being in a safe space with somebody else that's in the safe space, as they say. Best thing to do with triggering um, is, be is being aware of your own thoughts. Write down all of your triggers on a, on a piece of paper and write down each one of them and it will help you anchor that oh these things trigger me and the next time I get triggered I'm gonna choose not to be triggered I'm gonna say okay all right that person's being a jerk but I'm not gonna let it do anything to me so triggering is not you're a victim of you allow yourself to be triggered now all you triggered people they're going no this person's terrible he's doing all this stuff to me he's doing this he's doing that and you know, there's so many different terms right now for triggering. But the triggering is only happening if you allow it. It comes down to you. So write down your triggers, become aware of them. When they come up, go, ah, that's triggering me. You can choose to walk away. You can choose to ignore it. You could choose to calmly share with the person, hey, you're, I'm getting a little upset because of what you said, and I don't appreciate it. That person might just say yo screw you or whatever they're gonna say you can't let that affect you triggering be aware of the thoughts that trigger you write your list down and don't be the victim of your own trigger if you know what I mean please give me input on this I know there's a lot of college students that have uh, triggering points of views and I'm gonna put it in the title and hopefully Google searches will come up you'll watch this video and give feedback please uh, I'm, this video series is for the person that is uh, almost uh, well suicidally depressed, in isolation and trapped and doesn't want to get therapy so they're watching these YouTube videos and I, my intention is to help you and also help the people that don't understand depression by explaining what depression's about and maybe having a little more compassion, empathy you've experienced it. I have empathy about depression. Compassion is you've not experienced depression, but you want to be supportive to that person. 
not easy, not easy to do when you're stuck on negativity. Triggering is a step in the right direction. Be aware of it and don't let it, don't let it bite you. Thanks for watching. This is uh, William Weeding, and this is uh, Isolation Kills channel. It is supported, a series of supportive videos for people uh, in manic depression in the dark days in isolation. And uh, you will get out of it. Don't give up. Thanks.